Hey, welcome to the show. Here we have Eureka Math Grade 3 Module 1, and we're going to start off this lesson with Lesson 1. We'll go ahead and turn the pages here. I should have had that ready for you. Here we go. Um, our story problem begins with, there are 83 girls and 76 boys in third grade. So I'm going to go ahead and underline these right here. That's kind of information we might need. How many total students are there in third grade? All right, so we have 83 girls. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and write 83 right here and 76 boys. So I'll put 76 boys right here. And I'm going to go ahead and add that. And right here, because it says right here, how many total? Total is the amount of these two numbers added up. So I'm going to go ahead and add my ones. Six plus three would be six, seven, eight, nine. And then eight plus seven is 15. Now this book right here, down here, it says to read. And we did read the sentence. Now it says to draw it. Now usually I will draw this out, but I'm not really going to draw 83 girls. Um, that would take me a long time to do that, and then 76 boys. And so um, you can kind of just draw this out like this. So this would be the girls, and this would be the boys. And then this right here, I'm going to put that all the way down here, and this will be the total students. So there are 159 total students. And that's a lot of students. Um, especially if you're going to have a birthday party, you would have to buy 159 cupcakes. Okay, let's go ahead and turn to page five right now. And it says, fill in the blanks to make a true statement. True statement, basically, that just says, make this, uh, just, if it's two plus three, you want to make a true statement of 2 plus 3 equals 5. So here we have three groups of 5. We have three hands, right? In each hand you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 fingers. So we have 5 fingers here, 5 fingers here, 5 fingers here. Three groups of 5, all right? Now, when we do multiplication, we'll usually start off by saying we... 3 times 5 represents 3 groups of 5. That's what they're trying to get at. They're, they want to, um, this is what they're trying to teach you, and, and then they're going to talk about this later on in the, in the book. So we have 3 groups of 5. So we have 5, 10, 15. And if you didn't know what, if you didn't know how to count by your 5s, you can just count all the fingers. We have 3 5s. So 3 5s is basically saying 3 groups of 5. All right, they're kind of just rewording it here, so don't get confused. So three fives would be 15. And then this is also like saying three times five, three groups of five, 15. All these numbers have to be the same. It's just different ways on how to say that. All right, here we have a group of bananas. This kind of makes me hungry. All right, um, so we have, here's one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups. And in each group is three. So we have three here, three, 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 three. That's how they got these numbers here. This represents that one, that one, this one, this one over here, and that one over there. So we can count by threes to find our answer. So three plus three is six, nine, 12, 15. So I'll put 15 right here. 15 bananas. And then we have five groups of three. Is that true? We have one, two, three, four, five groups. And in each group is three. And then we have the same thing. They're just, just, just putting this in different uh, terminology. And it is five groups of three, which is five times three. And that, it, oh my goodness, I, I messed up here. I am totally sorry. Um, I was thinking of so many different things. We have five groups of three. This is not three. This is 15. And then five times three is 15. 
um, in my class, you know, when I'm teaching mathematics, I'm always like thinking like two or three steps ahead. And once in a while, I will make a mistake. And whenever I do uh, workbooks like this, um, I can't guarantee 100% I'm going to be saying the right thing. So always check over your work. Oh, a th quick thing about banana. Um, banana is spelled like this, B-A-N-A-N-A. -A -N -A. And when I was young, probably in second or third grade, I had no idea when this was supposed to stop. So I would spell it like this, B-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-Y. -A 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 -A. I don't know when to stop. So kind of, anyway, a little story about myself. Teacher saying, get back to the mathematics. Okay, let's do it. Here we have six plus six plus six plus six. This is a group of six right here. That's a group of six. There's a group of six. And there's a group of six. How many groups do we have? One, two, three, four. There's going to be four groups of six. I jumped ahead, didn't I? <laughs> six plus six is 12. And six plus six is 12. So we're going to have a total of 24. So we have four groups of six equals 24. We have four groups of six. Four times six equals 24. Okay, next we have limes or lemons. No story behind this. <laughs> Let's just get right into it. Here is a group of four, 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 and four. They're doing the same thing. That represents this one. This is four. That's four. Here's a four, another four, and here's a four. So we have four, one, I'm going to count the groups here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. It says it right here. Six groups of four. How many fours do we have? Well, you can easily, if you didn't know what six times four is, you just count all these lemons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Here we have 24. So six groups of four is 24. Again, they're teaching you how to write multiplication. They're, it's just kind of the foundation of multiplication right now. And so six times four. All right, six times four is 24. Um, third grade um, with Eureka, they jump right into multiplication. It's like, oh my goodness, come on. Can we spend a little time with double digit addition and subtraction? <clears throat> um, excuse me there. No, they jump right into multiplication. And so, and a lot of students don't have a background in multiplication. My advice is keep on moving on. And um, I, with my class, I do teach them, um, kind of like on the side, I, I teach them to memorize their multiplication facts. I think it's needed. So um, this, um, this book might not cover everything that should be uh, uh, taught. So anyway, let's get back to the lesson. I, I tend to do a little jibber jatter here. The picture below shows two groups of apples. Here's a group and there's a group. Did you notice something here? Usually when you got a group that's even, right? They're not even, is it? Does the picture show two times three? Explain why or why not. So first of all, two times three, what does that mean? Two groups of three. So I have one group of three and somebody took an apple. Hmm, I wonder who it was. There is no longer two groups of three. Does the picture show two times three? No, does not. Somebody took that apple. Draw a picture that shows two times three. All right, so two groups of three. Now, you're going to learn later on something called array, and you would, you would do two groups of three. So you'd go one group and two groups, and in each group it's going to be three. One, two, three. One, two, three. But for right now, I don't care what you're putting down there. Talk to your teacher. Here's a group and there's a group. And each of those groups is going to be three apples. Just like that. Good enough for me. 
basically this is both a visualization, um, a, I'm sorry, a representation of what multiplication is and just making it visual. Let's go on to problem four. Caroline, Brian, and Marta share a box of chocolates. Ooh, I like chocolates. I'm going to underline that. They each get the same amount. Circle the chocolates below to show three groups of four. Then write a repeated... Oh my goodness. Okay. You get so confused. Let's take this easy cheesy lemon squeezy. We're going to work on that later on. Let's just circle the chocolates below to show three groups of four, all right? Doesn't matter which ones you're gonna circle. I just want three groups of four, or, and in each, like three circles, and in each of those circles have four chocolates. Here's a group right here. Here's one, Let's see if I can get four in there, and then we have another group like that. Okay, now I'm ready to read the second part of the question. Then write a repeated addition sentence and a multiplication sentence to represent the picture. We got to do two things, a repeated addition sentence and a multiplication sentence. You're saying, what's a uh, repeated addition sentence? Right over here. Look at this. That is right here. I don't know if you can see that on the, on the book here. That right here is repeated addition. Repeated addition. It's just the same number being repeated. Okay. Don't get too worried about that. So I have four plus four plus four. What does that equal? Four times three, 12, where you just add it up. That's my repeated addition sentence. Now I have to make a multiplication sentence. Okay. How many groups do you have? You have three groups. How many are in each group? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, four. You have four in each group. They both equal 12. There's different ways on how to find the answer. Okay, we used repeated addition and we used multiplication. All right, let's move on. All right, hey, I hope you're having a good day out there. Make sure you check out my other videos on this channel. Got a lot of cool math videos and some math puzzles. All right. Let's continue on here. The picture below shows four groups of two slices of watermelon. Oh my goodness, I am getting hungry. As they talked about apples and bananas, chocolate, now watermelon. Whew, okay, um, I just forgot what I was talking about. Okay, four groups of two slices of watermelon. Let's see, one, two, three, four, got it. Fill in the blank to make true repeated addition and multiplication sentences that represent the picture has to be true. Can't be false. <laughs> so we have a two here. Let's put a two there, a two there, and a two there. That's a two de tot tot. So we have two, four, six, eight. Don't be late. So we put an eight right here. How many groups of four do we have? This means four groups of two. Four groups of two equals eight. Same thing. All right. We're almost done. We have draw a picture. Now you got to draw a picture, all right, to show three plus three plus three equals nine. This right here, three plus three plus three equals nine is not a picture. Those are numbers. They want you to draw a picture, okay? So you can just do it like that. So I'm going to have three. So I'm just going to put three circles. Or I'm sorry, yeah, three circles. One, two, three. One, two, three three, and then three in each one of these. So I'm going to put boxes of candy, or maybe these could be brownies, as we're talking about food in this unit here. Somebody was hungry when they made this unit. And I'll put a plus sign, a plus sign equals and nine, I guess. So that's shown what this represents. Three plus three plus three equals nine. Then write a multiplication sentence to represent the pictures. So how many groups do we have? Uno, dos, tres. Three groups. How many are in each group? Three equals nine. We did it. 
Hey, I hope you had a fun day um, or a fun time watching the show. Hope you learned a few things and I hope you have a great day out there. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the likey button. All right, talk to you later. Adios. Bye.